Status loco. Status loco! Status loco is the status quo. Things in a fast growing company are crazy. I couldn't think of anything that better described what I was feeling. We're in a startup, we're building a company. We're building a company faster than anyone who's been inside this company has ever seen before. Things are gonna be crazy. You should be excited about that. You should be excited about the challenges that come along with building a company. There's just so much going on that honestly, the status is loco. And it's really important for everybody to kind of acknowledge that things are loco and make sure that they're all focused on what they need to be focused on in order to like drive the company forward, despite how loco it is. The craziness of running a company and having this very ambitious growth rate and goals to work with some of the biggest companies in the world. This is the nature of the type of work we do. This is how things will be. And we have to set those ambitious goals and we have to expect ourselves to be able to hit those goals and beyond. If you're not moving quickly, you're going to be lapped. That's just the pace of this industry these days. So if you move slowly and try to be too cautious and plan things out too much, then you'll kind of be behind the pack. It's okay to move really quickly and to kind of live in a bit of chaos when you're learning. And in reality, not only are you learning, you're, you're drinking from a fire hose you know, of, of experience and knowledge every day. And if we're gonna accept that high growth startups are a little crazy, uh, a little stressful, then we need to get good at that. We need to embrace it. We need to feel it in our veins that it's the right feeling and wake up every day and run into that because that's the nature of of what a high growth startup is like. I've always been one to sort of obey what I call the OR principle, observe, adapt, repeat. If you're at a company that's static and you're the only person with the OR in the water, you're just going around in circles. Here, our company is status loco. Everybody's OR is in the water. There's gonna be days where things just, they feel crazy. Hiring people and building a team who are excited by the inevitable challenges that will come from that. If you crumble when your nicely laid out plan goes to crap, then you're not gonna be very effective. So I think we are all adept at being flexible. We just adapt. We say, what, what else can we do? How do we fix this? If you're lost, you know, we have seven other great values that you can fall back on. If you're gonna work at a startup, especially one as ambitious and growing like ours, you're gonna have to wear multiple hats. Things are always in motion. Things are always moving. Pieces are never stable. Nobody wants to just sit still here. We're always asking, what can I do better? How can I improve this process? Status Loco does require a lot of trust between different people in the teams. Things get a bit out of hand, but as long as we're all here and working on it, then we'll find a way. It brings you closer together as a team. We always found ways to overcome these challenges. I haven't seen anybody get super stressed out. I, it doesn't happen here. I think because if you have an idea that everything is fluid, everything is adapting, everything is moving towards that what's right, then I think you're in the right mindset. And then you don't get stressed out. You're just like, all right, let's do this. Because things might be crazy, but they're also gonna be really fascinating and exciting and ultimately way more rewarding. And it was constantly a, a learning experience, which I wouldn't have got at a lot of other companies because I wouldn't have been exposed to so many aspects of the business. I think that everybody in the company has a sense for Status Loco, like they, they see it around them. They see the pace at which you know, challenges come in the, in the door and are tackled and they see the pace at which you know, the company is growing and they understand that, yeah, we're on a rocket ship. Rarely do we look back and say, oh, we, we could have done that better if we had have ignored status loco. And usually it's like, hey, we, we got that done because we went straight at it, we moved quickly, and look at all the things we learned. Like V2 is going to be 10x better because of the way we like went after that so tenaciously.